have with us today Dr. Simon Ray Atkinson. Welcome Dr. Atkinson. Thank He's you. from University of Sydney and we welcome you at ASC conference. Uh, tell us something about yourself and your research, what you're working on. Well, the area that we're passionate about is how do we make sense uh, in what has become a highly synthetic environment. And by that I mean that we are so intertwined now with the technology. You can't divide the information from the technology or the social and the people from the IT. So how do we make sense of that? How do we preserve, on the one hand, people's privacy, and on the other hand, respect the security that's necessary for people to exist and operate freely and effectively in a democratic society, particularly a society which is faced with so many challenges that we see today. That makes perfect sense. And you know, bridging the fine line between privacy and security is, is a big thing. So what do you suggest? What do you think will be the, re, uh, will be the uh, privacy research in the next five years? I think the main aim of the privacy research has got to be to socialize that big data, to provide ownership back to the individuals, to educate uh, not simply the technologists, but only many of us who get this, mm -hmm. but actually the politicians and the policy makers, so that they understand the basis of democracy is in the freedom, not simply academic freedom, but the freedom that we all enjoy. And that's what's so necessary to put, if you like, our countries back to work again. Mm -hmm. So that recovery isn't jobless. That's true. And that the freedoms that we enjoy as intellectuals and academics mm -hmm. extend to the common man and the common woman. Mm -hmm. So they also are part of this existence. And I think this is an area where we as technologists and big data freaks and people who work within complex systems have so much that we need to contribute and so much to give. Makes sense. So what, what do you think are the industry expectations from your point of view towards researchers like filling the fine line or bridge between academia and, uh, and industry? Um, I think we have got to move back to explorative organisations. We've been through a period of exploitation, exploitative type organisations, and yet when we look at successful industries, we could think about uh, successful universities, my own University of Cambridge, yeah. which goes back over 800 years. Yeah. How do we create systems that survive over time, that have that resilience to shock? That means they're not entirely optimised, maybe they're suboptimal in some ways, but that they're inclusive of people, because it's mm -hmm. people who have to lead change. Yeah, it's that dynamic. Mm -hmm. So part of the thing we're looking at is the mathematics today yeah. doesn't work, because we're in a time of change and instability. And yet we're still trying to apply linear mathematics that might have worked in the 80s and 90s. Mm -hmm. And the challenge that we see is, as we describe, this synthetic ecology. Mm -hmm. So as we look to the future, how do we put humanity back in the loop? Mm -hmm. We're in an age of step change. The information age has ended. So this new synthetical age, as we're calling it, how do we create opportunities, create a vitality for people so they contribute, so people want to belong to the United States or to Europe or whatever? rather than turn the back on us. That's indeed not just an interesting but also a noble thought as well, looking at the world uh, altogether. So for for privacy, I mean, I must say, how what, what encouraged you to come to this conference, ASE conference? Well, on privacy, well, one of the areas that I'm really reminded of uh, is, is uh, President Reagan, if you remember, in, yep. in 1987, and he turns to Gorbachev and he says, Gorbachev for liberalization for a for the economy, for democratization, tear down these walls. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down these walls. We have created so many walls, and these walls are supposed to protect privacy, but what do they do? They destroy the trusts and the basic collaboration of the commonwealth and understanding that underpins democracy. So where I feel we need to be going is pulling down these walls. So. The aspect of this particular conference is to provide us with a base where we as technologists and mathematicians can come together, we can begin to articulate change, we can begin to educate people, Excellent. but we have got to start pulling down these walls. We have more rules than ever and yet we're less safe than ever. I see the tragedy of what happened in my home city of, of Sydney. How do we stop that kind of radicalisation? How do we enable young people to be part of this community in the future because that's the true freedom that's and true. to get there we're going to have to pull down some of these walls it doesn't make us any safer that's true so let's free up this data let's give big data back to the people who actually own it and let's develop the mathematics of uncertainty and stability 
so that we can recreate and rebuild the institutions that people want to belong to and be part of. That's perfect. Awesome. Thank you so much oh, for coming. Very interview. We really appreciate your time <laughs> okay. and efforts. Thanks for coming uh, for the conference. My pleasure. Thank you.